Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, we are going to talk about plush, but not just any plush. All of these plush are going to have one thing in common. And I think this is really important to understand. And it's not always about the brand. Sometimes it's about this one key word. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. All right, let's get started. Okay, Bolo Buddies, this was not going to be a video about photo room, and it still is not, but you are going to see some pictures, and I am going to show you why photo room is important. Um, in the video, you're going to hear me say, um, it's either 10% off or you get $10. So if you use my referral code down below, you are going to get 10% off your yearly subscription. Here is the price, $69.99 for the year. That's it for the whole year. And you get 10% off if you use my link down below. So, so worth it. Check out this demo and you're going to see in this video why I think a white background is so important. All right. So what is that keyword? Does it have to be in the title? Is it helpful if it's in the title? So personally, I think it is helpful. If it is in the title, I think people search this word. Do I think it's necessary to sell your item for big money? No. And I'm going to give you an example of why I don't think it's necessary. But we're just going to start and work our way through some big money plush. And some of these, oh my goodness, you guys, just wait. Just wait. All right, let's start with the first one here. Has anybody guessed what that keyword is yet? The key word is realistic. Okay, so of course, most people are not looking for their pet realistic dinosaur. Like a lot of times people, I'm going to tell you, are going to look for items that look like their pets. This one is a dinosaur. So come on. Um, it can be realistic, but nobody has a pet dinosaur. So this one I picked because it had realistic in the title and dinosaurs can usually do pretty good. This one is by FAO Schwartz and is sold for $130. Now, if I am showing you the item on eBay, it means that I have went in and verified the item with feedback and it was a good sale. Looking um, up items on eBay to find out if they really sold or really didn't sell is pretty tricky. And we're going to move into Mercari and Poshmark, which you're going to see me do a lot in uh, future videos because... We'll talk about that when we get there. All right, so this dinosaur is 27 inches tall. It sold on auction with one bid for $130 plus shipping. Now, this one here is by Jag. It's a realistic discontinued fox. And it seems like the fox, the wolf, um, the different animals like that seem to do really well. So if you see them, definitely look them up. But you're going to see all sorts of brands. This is not limited to a certain brand. The key word is that they look realistic and that people want them. This one sold for $150 plus shipping. And right here, this brand I kept seeing over and over again, lots of big money ones on eBay, but I could not verify them with feedback. Um, so I didn't show you them, but this one I did verify. This one right here on the tag, it says E and J Classics. If I picked this up at a garage sale, I'm not sure I would think too much of it, but E and J seems to be a really good plush brand. They do seem to be bigger plush and realistic looking. Again, people want things that look like their animals. This is a Burmese dog. It's 32 inches. So um, that one sold for $149 plus shipping. And personally, like I'm a photo room girl. I like a white background. Uh, this one's okay, but the one with the fan in it, like I, I just think this would pop more with a white background. Um, you can do... I think it's 50 at a time on photo room. I signed up before, so I can do a little bit more before they changed it. But what you do is you do them in bulk. So you get all your pictures done and then you can do 50 at a time. It just 
filters out the background and gives you a white crisp background and you're ready to go. And it is going to make your item, I believe, look more professional. Um, if you guys are interested in checking out Photo Room, I do have a link down in the description. If you sign up for the year, the yearly subscription, I think you get, oh goodness, I can't remember. Is it 10% off or $10 off? I don't know. It's down in the description. You guys can check it out. If you're interested, great. If not, no worries, but I want you to know that discount code, it's my referral code, is down in the description for you guys if you want to try it for a year. It's really not that expensive for the whole year. Okay, so I went over, um, this one was actually a best offer was taken. So what I did is I went over to Terapeak and I went and I copied word for word. I just cut and pasted into the title or the search box here. And that pulled up the item for me. And I can tell that they sold this for $100. So um, best offer of $100 on this E&J dog. This one here is an FAO Schwartz again. This one is a wolf. So we saw the fox and now we're seeing the wolf. This one sold for $250. And that is what the tag looks like. And again, very realistic looking animal, realistic in the title. Here's the fox. It sold for $349.99. It's a 27 inch plush. Here is your tag. And it's just incredible that they, I mean, most people would walk right past these items. Don't do that. Look them up. Look them up. Look at this. Rare FAO Schwartz. Again, wolf. It's the wolves. 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 I think it's wolves. <laughs> wolf wolves wolves is plural right come on courtney um toys r us so these are toys r us look how cool they are and again i feel like a white background would be better but who am i to say anything because they sold these for one thousand dollars yes one thousand dollars for a pair of plush can you believe it and let me go in to the feedback if you go over here this is how you can verify and I don't even, I would type in realistic right here, but I don't need to because it's their top sale or their top feedback. Adorable plush wolves, beautiful condition. Very happy with my purchase. Thank you. This was a good, legit sale. $1,000 for two stuffed animals. This one is a Collie Sheltie dog. How cute is this? 26 inch, realistic. Again, probably somebody looking for something that looks like their puppy. $99.99 plus shipping. This one here is a St. Bernard plush. It's 36 inches big. $202.50 on this. How cute. Um, it looks like the nose even um, is all worn off. It used to have a black nose and it still sold for $202. That nose looks so funny. Oh my goodness, but it's just adorable. All right, this next one comes from Farm Girl Scavenger Noel. If you have never heard of her channel, if you watch me, I know you've heard of her channel, but she is incredible. She is a big money bolo finder and she talks about big money bolos on her channel. Go and sub her up, but also follow her on Instagram because she does a great job of showing you her what solds in um, like real R-E-E-L format and um, picture format over on Instagram. So you would definitely learn a ton over there as well. What did Noelle sell? She sold this Dakin Playthings Soft Classics Sheepdog Plush Stuffed Animal Toy. So this is where I'm telling you, you do not have to put realistic in the title. This person was looking for a sheepdog and they found it and Noelle had it. She sold this for $67.99 plus shipping. But not only did she sell that one, but she sold this extra large one. This one is by Fine Toy Company. It's an old English sheepdog plush. It is, um, again, she did not use realistic in the title, but this is a realistic looking item. I talked about earlier in the video, um, it was either this video or another one that I did about showing pictures of the eyes. Collectors want to see that the eyes are free of scratches and clear, especially if they're paying big money for the items. So if there's any imperfections or any issues, include that in your description and show photos of the eyeballs. Also show a photo of the tag and any other important information. But this item is incredible. She sold it for $239.99 plus shipping. All right. Oh my goodness. So we are now over here on Mercari and this is just, I love it. Uh, this is a Hansa Giant Snow Leopard Mama. And 
I am wondering if they put realistic somewhere. Um, I don't know. I don't see realistic. I don't know why this one popped up when I typed it in, but I put in realistic plush. So it's got to say it somewhere. I know that um, on Mercari, whatever you put in the title, if it is in the description also, it will pick it up. But I just want you guys to look at this animal. It is incredible. Now on this one, I don't mind this background. I mean, the box is a little funky. Maybe I would have sat it up on the rocks, but it kind of gives it that like outdoor feel. So that's kind of fun. But then you get the box and I'm like, oh, please use photo room. Oh my goodness. But how cool is this item? It is incredible. Incredible. So another big money bolo. It's like these outdoor wild cats, the fox, the wolf, this thing, just crazy. Okay, so here is a Webkin Signature Timber Wolf. This one sold for 207. And Signature um the Signature is a different brand. You can see the bottom of the foot. It has more of a yellow look to it. And I did a video on these. Definitely go check out that video because it will knock off your socks. I'm not kidding. You'll be like, you'll get done watching it and you'll be like, where are my socks? Where did they go? Seriously. Oh my goodness. Incredible. All right. Look at this vintage realistic Stife bunny. Um, I will say that Stife is an incredible brand. And um, if you find it, definitely pick it up. It looks like it's got the little tag in the ear, but maybe the part that says Stife is missing. Um, it does say this has been sanitized with an ozone UV sterilizer, then immediately placed into a sealed plastic bag for your protection. <laughs> wow. Okay. Um, not sure what that means, but that is fancy. All right. So that one is, Stife is a great brand to look up. And I would say that definitely looks realistic. The next item is this Folk Monus Huge Tiger Full Body Hand Puppet. Realistic. Folk Monus is an incredible brand to look for. They are hand puppets. They range from bread and butter to big money. This one is very big. This one sold for $149 plus shipping. This one right here is an Animal Alley baby monkey. And I feel like I have one of these, actually two of these from my childhood. Um, my sister had one and I had one, but I don't know if it's the same brand, but we still have them. We hung on to them. You know how you have certain things that you hang on to and you're like, why am I hanging on to this? Um, yeah, well, my, my sister and I still have these. They must have been special to us. I don't know. But this one sold for $145. I guess I'm going to have to check the tag and I might be selling those. <laughs> Sorry, sis. Um, somehow I got both of them. She's like, will you hold this for me? Yeah, sure. I'll shove it in a closet. All right, the next item is this Douglas Major German Shepherd 32-inch dog uh, cuddle toy pup. And look, this is cool. Now, this definitely looks real. Again, you're looking at an animal that looks like someone's pet. Someone is looking for it. $145 plus shipping. So what I like about Mercari is when I search solds on Mercari and when I search solds on Poshmark, I know that the item sold because on Mercari and Poshmark, it is immediate payment. The pay payment is taken at the time of purchase. It is held by the platform and it is released to you once the person leaves feedback or once they've had it in their possession for three days. So there's no guessing, did the item sell? Yeah, it sold. Um, if it shows sold, it sold. So it's really great for looking up comps. I do have a link down in the description if you guys wanna join Mercari and Poshmark. They are referral links, so you will get credits to shop. Mercari, you get 10 bucks to shop when you join, and then you get another 20 when you sell $100 worth of stuff. And that's just free money to shop. You can buy something to resell. I've done that before. Poshmark, you get $10 to shop. So uh, those are my referral links. They are down below. I also get money to shop if you guys use them. So I appreciate it when you guys use them. But uh, I recommend selling plush on Mercari. To me, it really seems like it is a great platform for selling plush. When I have done these plush videos, I am seeing that items sell for more a lot of times on Mercari than the other platforms. So 
just from my research. I don't know that for sure. I've not checked every single plush in the world, but on the research videos I have done, I have seen that it is very favorable to sell plush on Mercari. This one is an America, Kids of America Corp, huge old English sheepdog. This one is 56 inches big. This one sold for $140. That is what the tag looks like. It seems like if you can find a sheepdog, you are in the money. So don't pass these by. $140 plus shipping on that one. The next item is this Animal Adventure Cute Soft Red Fox Plush Toy. Realistic laying down. Again, a fox, a wolf, um, Siberian Husky, all those different animals. This is a Golden Retriever, a Webkin Signature. This one sold for $137 plus shipping. What's nice about this one that I kind of like, but I kind of don't like is this background noise. Like what is all this in the background? This makes me think, okay, this seller has more listed, but is it confusing to the buyer? Are they thinking, am I getting all of these? So mm, kind of tricky. I don't know. What do you guys think? I personally like to white out my background with photo room, but to each their own, right? They sold this for $137 plus shipping. This is a Gans Webkin Signature Golden Retriever Dog Plush Sitting. And again, I don't see realistic in the title, but when I typed in realistic plush, um, it, it pulled this up. So this one sold for $125 plus shipping and it is definitely realistic looking. This one is also a Gans Webkin's signature. And the signature tag on the foot is gonna be gold in color. Those tend to go for more. So definitely be on the lookout. This next item is a Mary Meyer huge vintage bear from 1999. It is vintage, it is awesome. And it sold for a hundred bucks plus shipping. Mary Meyer is a great brand. Um, I've sold some of her little finger puppets that do really well. So be on the lookout for those as well. Look at this. Okay, this is one time that I'm going to say I prefer this over the white background. I wish they would have removed the plastic bag, but this couch and putting this, this tiger on it, oh my goodness, that is so fancy and I just kind of love it. But uh, what do you guys think? White background or do you prefer having, I don't know about this picture. <laughs> I don't know. I just like the white background. Um, again, I, I don't put things beside my animals to show size. I use a tape measure. Uh, I, I recommend using a tape measure. Now, I've seen people use coins with dollhouse furniture, and I think that's okay. That doesn't bother me, but like empty cans and empty bottles, I, it's just confusing to me. I, this does not really show me the size of this animal. I, I would use a tape measure. And a lot of these, again, people on Mercari and Poshmark, a lot of them are hobby sellers. So they're just doing what they can and they're not really trying to make their pictures look the best. They are just looking to sell their items. So I don't know. Mercari and Poshmark are different platforms than eBay. On Mercari, it seems like anything goes. Not a whole lot of white backgrounds. eBay, white background, white background, white background. They kind of push that. Poshmark, you, mo a lot of items are laying on like fancy rugs and they kind of like fancy it up. So if it's done in good taste, um, I, I think it's okay. But my preference is white background and not everyone's going to agree with me. Let me know in the comments what you like and how you do it. Like this, this is a hot mess. <laughs> and if this is your listing, I am so sorry. I'm calling you out. But all of this behind it, it's like, oh, I need to list this. This is my money pile right here sitting behind this dog. So funny. It sold for $180. It didn't matter that this was sitting back here. But you could take photo room and white that out in like two seconds and just have a much better presentation on this item. Um <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh, I don't mean to laugh. That's horrible. But anyway, uh, I don't know. So super uh, big money bolo, $180 plus shipping on that. The next item, again, like you can see in their mirror, all, their whole house, you can see their house. Oh my goodness. I would not want everybody like seeing my house in my pictures. 
Um, have you seen the Facebook mark marketplaces where people are taking pictures of mirrors and their whole bodies in the mirror and they're like trying to not be in the picture? It's kind of something like that. Here is that E&J brand that I was talking about earlier. It's the Bernese Mountain Dog. This one sold for $125 and so easy to use photo room, you guys. Just so easy. Please consider it if you're doing your photos like this. It's just, I mean their dogs in the background. It's just a much better, more professional presentation. Do you have to do it? No, but photo room is pretty inexpensive, really easy to use and fast. And um, if you want to do it again, I have a referral link down below and it's either 10% off or $10 off your first year. Um, that'll save you some money if you want to get started with it. But if not, no worries, but at least try to get a white background or try to get the the stuff that is um, making it harder to see your item out of the picture, okay? That would be my suggestion. Like, this one's fine. Like, not a white background, but they're attempting to have a white background. It's got the cool brick behind it. It's on a white uh, piece of paper. So it looks professional. It looks like they tried. You can't see their whole house. Now, I do understand with bigger plush, it is a little bit harder, all right, so this one is E and J again. This one sold for $113 plus shipping. This one is a Hansa Creation Papillon Tricolor. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but again, this is a harder to find dog. Probably somebody has this dog and they are looking for it. This one sold over on Poshmark for $110 plus shipping. Here's another sheep dog. Um, Again, you know, it's in their house. That's fine. These pictures, I mean, everything looks tidy and it's not their money pile sitting behind it. They've got it on the floor. It kind of looks like, oh, look, my dog's laying on the floor. <laughs> I do love this picture. So I think this seller did an okay job for not using a white background. And again, Poshmark has a little bit different style. I think they're trying to show in this one that it's realistic. It looks real. Look at it sitting on the back of my couch. They show the tongue. And they show it laying on the pillows. So I kind of get this one. I mean, oh my goodness, this looks legit. I absolutely love this photo right here. But everything is clean and tidy and you can tell they staged it. So that is the difference between Poshmark and what we were seeing on Mercari. I think this is okay. Um, right here, you just cannot fit this whole thing on this uh, photo. But again, they're going for the white background. But if you took photo room, you could white this out so easy and you would just see the stuffed animal. This one is an octopus, a fiesta. It sold for $85 plus shipping on Poshmark. All right, let's go back over here. And Noelle, uh, Farm Girl Scavenger, she doesn't, all, she doesn't do the white background. But again, her, her photos are professional. They don't have a lot of stuff in the background. It's solid. You can see the item clearly. That's what you want. If you do not want to pay for a photo app, you want to make sure that your item has some, this is Noelle's also, some sort of nice background. Uh, some people hate the white backgrounds. They don't agree with me. They think that the white background is, um, they don't like it. They think it looks like the item is floating. Um, this right here is a really nice background. So that works also. But I think you should do something show, so that you're showcasing your item. And this turned into a video about backgrounds. So I apologize for that. That was not my intent with this video, but I would love to hear your feedback down in the comments. Okay, I'm in the photo room app and I have screenshot the photos from this video of the ones that I felt like would look better with a white background. So I've got them all pulled up. I am gonna click on each one and as you can see, it is whiting out the background. Now, the one that's sitting on the box, we have to fix that one. And I'm going to show you how to fix it. It's super, super easy. But first, I'm going to save all of these images. So these images are now saved. I'm going to go into over here. I'm going to look for eBay. I'm going to click on that. And this is how you do a single picture if you want to do an edit. I'm going to click on the one with the box. It's going to white it out again. Uh, there may be an easier way to do this, but you're gonna edit cut out and I'm going to erase the box. So right there, I erased it. I'm gonna hit done and I have my picture ready to go. In most cases, it deletes everything out for you, but if not, that's how you do it. 
All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Um, if you're new and you're doing some of these things, don't be offended. We all started out in that same way. I remember my clothes. I took pictures of them on my carpet. And now I am like, I cannot believe that I had pictures of clothing laying on my carpet. And I used to do it all the time. So as a new seller, you just don't know these things. So I hope this video was helpful seeing some of the different uh, photos and what people are doing. Which ones do you think look better? Which ones do you think maybe don't look as good? Either way, all of the items sold for big money. So I guess the picture doesn't always matter but just some tips to think about. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Leave me an emoji of an owl down in the comments or just write the word hoot. Thanks for watching. Oh, and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already.